New species of humans were discovered in this tribe. Science is always growing. Science is always evolving. Every time you blink, a scientist somewhere discovers something new and exciting. And some of the most exciting aren't widely known. Yet, these are scary scientific discoveries the public is unaware of. Number 20. Pacific Islanders appear to be carrying the DNA of an unknown human species. New species of humans were discovered in this tribe. This is the story. Scientists have long thought that there were more human species in the past that we don't know about. And recently, they've finally discovered hints of an unidentified and extinct human species in the DNA of modern Melanesians. Melanesians are the people that live in a region of the South Pacific located in the northeast of Australia. While studying their DNA, a group of researchers discovered that they carry the DNA modeling of neither the Neanderthal or the Denisovan, which are two ancient species of humans. This means that basically Basically, we're missing a whole population that could represent a third unknown human relative that has completely eluded archaeologists until now. This study came to be after the investigation of the percentages of extinct hominid DNA that modern humans, meaning you and me, still carry today. And the thing is, they found disparities in the analyses, which can only mean one thing. Our mingling with the Neanderthals and Denisovans isn't the whole story. But don't get all riled up just yet. They still need concrete evidence to present the third human species hypothesis as an unequivocal fact. For instance, some fossils would be nice. Some scientists even think that this discovery only means that our previous identification of Denisovan DNA is more ambiguous than we thought. You know, given that our only source is a finger bone and a few teeth. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Microplastics found in Antarctica's sea ice. Aquatic life at risk. It's not news that our irresponsible overuse of plastic is destroying the oceans, but the fact that now it's reached as far south as Antarctica's sea ice, well, that's just terrible and very sad. The fact that microplastics have made their way to the most remote corner of our oceans and to such a delicate biodiverse environment points to the extended and extreme lethality of water pollution. The horrible discovery is worrying scientists all over the world, because it could have a catastrophic result. The plastic in seawater could threaten krills, which feed on algae. In turn, krills are eaten by whales, and then contamination could very much distribute absolutely everywhere. Not just that, but krills are the basis of the entire Antarctic food web. If they disappear, every other animal will eventually disappear too. They found 14 different kinds of microplastics, and on average, about 12 people pieces of plastic per liter of water, which is a lot. Anna Kelly from the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies at the University of Tasmania says that, sadly, the remoteness of the Southern Ocean has not been enough to protect it from plastic pollution, which is now pervasive across all the world's oceans. Her research also identified fibers of varnish and plastics commonly used in the fishing industry. Number 18. A Reef Taller Than The Empire State Building we all know about the immensity and magnificence of Australia's Great Barrier Reef, which is the world's largest coral reef covering 133,000 square miles. It includes 3,000 coral reefs, 600 continental islands, 300 coral rays, and about 150 mangrove islands. So yeah, it's big. But recently, a massive detached coral reef has been discovered. And guess what? It measures 1,640 feet in height, making it taller than the Empire State Building and many of the other world skyscrapers. As we always suspected, nature is way better at building things than we are, by a long shot. It's called a detached reef because it doesn't sit on the Great Barrier Reef shelf itself. The huge piece of coral reef was discovered by scientists off North Queensland using an underwater robot called Subastian. This is big news because it's the first detached reef found in over 120 years. The researchers described it as blade-like, and they say it measures 0.9 miles wide. This goes to show we really don't know much about our oceans. In fact, only 20% of our ocean's floor has been mapped. 
The reef, however, is in grave danger. It's home to more than 1,625 species of fish, 600 types of coral, 133 varieties of sharks and rays, more than 30 species of whales and dolphins, and so, so much more. But it's quickly disappearing due to climate change, and all the species that depend on it are diminishing in numbers too. Number 17. The microbes are gaining on us. After the whole COVID-19 mess, we're all a little bit skittish and paranoid about microbes, and for good reason. They are terrifying little tiny things you can't see, but that can kill you. And nothing more dangerous than a threat you can't see. Well, here's more bad news for you. It seems that human beings are building a resistance to antibiotics, and it's so widespread that it's becoming one of the greatest challenges in the modern health system. At first, doctors started to notice antibiotic-resistant strains only in the hospital environment, but now they can be found everywhere. Due to globalization, excessive use of antibiotics in agriculture and animal husbandry, and even aquaculture and many other factors, we are all constantly being overexposed to multiple broad-spectrum agents, which means that when we get sick, the medicine intended to cure us may not work. It's a very serious problem for public health everywhere, and they don't have a solution for it. In fact, scientists estimate that by 2050, there will be no effective antibiotic available. And if no new drug is discovered or developed, we would be taken back to a time before modern medicine when people were incredibly fragile to diseases. Number 16. Cultures throughout history and around the world have engaged in ritual human sacrifice. Human sacrifice is gnarly, horrific, savage, and many other pejorative adjectives that might come to mind. But, in fact, they were much more common than you might think. For instance, some people choose to be buried with a memento of their loved ones or small coins for the ferryman. But if you were an ancient Egyptian pharaoh, you would have all your servants slaughtered and buried adjacent to you. You know, because someone must bring you your tea in the afterlife, of course. In the Chinese Empire, concubines were also sacrificed to be eternal companions, and it most certainly occurred against the girl's wills. In India, certain sects required human sacrifices as a rite of passage. The Aztecs slaughtered tens of thousands of people just to inaugurate the Great Pyramid of Tenochtitlan. The Romans even had the nerve to accuse many of the people they conquered of engaging in ritual sacrifice, while half of the inhabitants of Rome were in the Colosseum watching people being mauled to death by lions and bears for entertainment. As it seems, it was surprisingly common for people to ritually kill and sometimes even eat other people. And it wasn't only outside of Europe, like some people seem to believe. Number 15. The mystery of the star Betelgeuse and its strange behavior is finally solved. When you look at the sky at night, Betelgeuse is usually one of the brighter stars up there. But without any notice or apparent reason, in December 2019, its intense and beautiful twinkle mysteriously dimmed. Of course, the dramatic change sent scientists a buzz. Perhaps the star was at the end of its life and was exploding into a supernova brighter than the full moon, which could be kind of cool, don't you think? For several weeks, NASA's Solar and Terrestrial Relations Observatory, or STEREO, investigated why the strange dimming of the beloved bright star was happening, and their calculations revealed that Betelgeuse goes through brightness cycles that typically last around 420 days due to its position and the Earth's position in space. There's also the fact that the star likely sent out a super hot jet of plasma that cooled as it whipped outward. This even formed a cloud of stardust that could have blocked its light from confused Earth-bound viewers. The star will go back to its normal, spectacular brightness once the stardust cloud dissipates. Number 14. Krogan Man, a petrified moment of death. Brace yourself, for this is a story like no other. The body was discovered in June 2003 by an Irish worker, Kevin Barry, in a swampy peat bog near the dormant Croggan Hill volcano north of Dangian, County Offaly, Ireland. Croggan Man was found to be in a good state of preservation due to the natural protection afforded by being buried in a peat bog. Although his head and lower limbs were missing, his nails and hands were very well cared for, which is why it's believed he was a high-ranking member of his community, maybe even a king. 
He was extremely tall, measuring 6 feet 6 inches. His last meal consisted of cereals and milk, and he appeared to have had a rich diet. He suffered a violent death before being deposited in the PD depths. Some think he was a king that was tortured by his own subjects. Holes had been cut into his upper arms in order to thread through them a rope of hazel withies to restrain the body. He was stabbed and his nipples sliced before being eventually cut in half across the torso. Such extreme violence tends to point towards either a ritualistic murder or sacrifice or punishment for having been a very bad king. The body is on display at the National Museum of Ireland in Dublin. Number 13. Mars is humming. Scientists aren't sure why. We've been hearing a lot of fascinating and exciting news from Mars for the past decade, but that the dusty and frigid planet is capable of humming, I'm not sure anybody was expecting that one. I mean, sure, like any other planet, Mars pulses with the beat of quakes rippling around its surface, but the source of this mesmerizing alien music remains a complete mystery. Nowadays, everyone's looking at the red planet as a potential future home planet for our species, but since NASA's lander InSight has been detecting and sending back to Earth new information, the humming is actually just one in a slew of fresh mysteries that we are only now realizing. Though the strange sound is inaudible to conscious humans, it is said to resemble that of a hum, and believe it or not, that same infrasound that Mars is emitting, some people claim they can hear throughout Earth. The lander also registered more than 400 quakes, which confirmed that Mars does have plenty of seismic activity just like our blue planet. Scientists suspect that the combination of wind above and geological movement below the red planet's surface may be the cause of the mysterious humming, but it's only a hypothesis for now. Number 12. Vampire Skeletons Found in Bulgaria Near Black Sea A group of archaeologists have found not one, but two medieval skeletons in Bulgaria. Now, this is not a piece of information that's exciting on its own, except that the two skeletons were pierced through the chest with iron rods. Yeah, now things are a little more interesting. It is thought that the iron rods were there to supposedly stop the two people from turning into vampires after having been bitten by one. Kind of a different version of the wooden stake through the heart method, if you will. This discovery illustrates a pagan practice that was quite common in some villages, and they kept doing it until more recently than you might think. In fact, many records of people being buried this way for fear of them turning into vampires date from as little ago as the 1910s. It was a precautionary practice. They stabbed them through the heart just in case the corpses would return to feast on human blood. People believed the rod would pin the dead into their graves, preventing them from escaping their burial site at midnight to terrorize the living. Actually, this myth is the one that directly inspired Bram Stoker's iconic horror novel, Dracula, which was first published in 1897 and has since been adapted to numerous films. Number 11. The Birth and Death of Stars in Our Skies Think of stars as the building blocks of the universe, and they assemble into giant star clusters just like towns. And in that way, the towns and cities assemble into continents, which are the galaxies. Stars are also the massive nuclear fusion-driven furnaces responsible for forging the heavier elements, which in turn become the building blocks for life as we know it. In other words, without stars, the universe would look incredibly different, and we would certainly have never existed. But even though they are such a crucial part of our universe, stars don't live forever. Just like people, they are born, they live their lives, changing and evolving as they age, and eventually they die. Although when stars die, they do it in a much more spectacular way than us humans do. Lots of work went into figuring out the life and death of a star, all because they live for way too long for us to observe the entire evolution of a single one. But what we can do is to study many different stars that are at a different point in their stellar evolution or life, if you will. In this way, astronomers can build up, over time, an overall picture of the process of stellar evolution. But don't worry, our beloved Sun still has an estimated 7 to 8 billion years left before it sputters out and dies. Number 10. Noah's Ark Found in Turkey Ilhan Duripinar was the cartographer that, in 1959, discovered a boat-shaped footprint on the top of a mountain in the Dogu Bayezet region in Turkey. 
Many Christians have long believed that the remains of the biblical ark is somewhere in Mount Ararat, and this discovery had them going with excitement. In fact, a team of evangelical Christian explorers made yet another discovery beneath snow and volcanic debris at the same mountain back in 2010. They claim they are 99.9% .9 sure that this is the final resting place of the ark. Other archaeologists, well, aren't. Actually, said archaeologists and historians are taking the latest claim that Noah's Ark has been found about as serious as they have the past ones, which is to say, not very. No expedition that has set out throughout history to find the sacred Ark has ever managed to succeed in finding it. The Bible says that Mount Ararat protected Noah, his family, and pairs of every animal species on Earth during the divine deluge that wiped out most of humanity and fauna and flora on Earth. If Noah's Ark is just a myth, or if it's a piece of our collective history, is for each and every one of us to decide for ourselves. Number 9. Billions Year Stardust is Oldest Material Found on Earth Scientists have discovered, after analyzing a meteorite, what is believed to be the oldest material to exist on Earth, at least as far as we know. The space rock in question, which fell to Earth in the 1960s, had dust grains on it that are thought to be as much as 7.5 billion years old, which means that the oldest of the dust grains was formed inside stars that roared to life long before our solar system was even born. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty wild. When a star dies, the particles that were formed within them are explosively flung into space. The little particles then get incorporated into new stars, planets, moons, and, you guessed it, meteorites. And that's how such mind-blowingly old pre-solar dust grains ended up here on Earth, to the delight of all astronomers and scientists that now get to study them. According to Philip Heck, a curator at Chicago's Field Museum and associate at the University of Chicago, these tiny little specks of dust are solid samples of stars real stardust. But how do they know how old the grains are? Well, by measuring how long the grains were exposed to cosmic rays in space, they can calculate when they were formed and therefore how old they are. Number 8. The Hidden Chamber of the Great Pyramid of Egypt we all know and admire the Great Pyramid of Giza, but not a lot of people know why they built it. Archaeologists and Egyptologists believe that the pyramid was built during the 26th century BC, more precisely under the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops. He ruled the empire from 2589 BC to 2566 BC, and apparently he built the magnificent pyramid as a tomb for himself and his wife, Queen Hanutsen. The pyramid is 460 feet tall, but recently, using cosmic ray imaging, they have found an empty space inside of the pyramid. Scientists found this empty chamber with the help of a technique called muon tomography, which uses cosmic ray imaging to penetrate deeply solid objects. As you can see, something that was built some 4,500 years ago can still surprise us today. It's also quite impressive that they were able to build something so grand all those centuries ago, especially considering it's still in pretty good shape. Shape. The secret chamber within the pyramid could very well be another burial site, but the curious fact about it is that it's located slightly above the king's chamber. Now, who could have been more important than the king himself? Egyptologists are completely baffled. They simply can't come up with any theories that could make sense with what we know about the society of ancient Egypt. Number 7. Things that taste good are bad for you. This annoying conclusion came upon what may be one of the longest studies ever conducted in history. In 1948, the Framingham Heart Study started. They enrolled over 5,000 residents of Framingham, Massachusetts to participate in a long-term study of risk factors for heart disease. And when I say long-term, I mean very long-term. In fact, the study is now enrolling the grandchildren of the original volunteers. So what did studying three generations of such a large group of people accomplish? The ambitious and painstaking epidemiological study has shown that the risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, certain kinds of cancer, and other health issues increase considerably in a dose-dependent manner upon exposure to delicious food. 
So yeah, if you love your steak, your salty french fries, or eggs benedict, triple fudge brownies with whipped cream, or anything that makes your mouth salivate with expectation, turns out they're killing you. But how come we find these things so incredibly appetizing? Well, that's because human taste preferences evolved during times of scarcity. Back then, it made a lot of sense for our hunter-gatherer ancestors to gorge on as much salt, fat, and sugar as they could possibly get their hands on, precisely because they did not have access to it as much as we do today. Number 6. The Lost City of Pompeii Preserved in Ash Pompeii was a Roman city in Campania, Italy, 14 miles southeast of modern-day Naples. The city was famous for its lavish and decadent customs, its mind-blowing riches, and street culture. The only problem, and not a little one at that, was that the city was located at the base of Mount Vesuvius, which is a very active and massive volcano. I think you know where this story's going, right? At around noon on August 24, 79 CE, Mount Vesuvius erupted. And it wasn't just any eruption, it was a disaster. Disaster. The eruption ejected cloud of stones, ashes, and volcanic gases to a height of 21 miles, erupting molten rock and pulverized pumice. More than 1,000 people are thought to have perished, though the exact toll is unknown. The city was completely showered by volcanic debris, and the population is fixated. Buildings were destroyed, and the whole city was buried beneath a blanket of ash and pumice. And there, Pompeii stayed under its pall of ash for many centuries, which I ironically kept it perfectly preserved. When it was unearthed in the 1700s, the entire world was astonished at the sophisticated Greco-Roman city frozen in time. They had a forum and an amphitheater and countless lavish private villas. Number 5. We've already changed the climate for the rest of this century. In order to understand how our climate will change in the coming decades, one needs to understand feedback loops. Basically, when we burn fossil fuels to produce electricity, heat, and much more, we are emitting greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane. These gases are called greenhouse gases because they trap the sun's energy in the Earth's atmosphere as heat. As more and more of these gases are released, more heat gets trapped, meaning they can't leave our atmosphere and go to space. What this means is that our planet is warm up and it's disrupting the long-standing and delicate climate system that has made life on Earth possible. Feedback loops are the ones that make the impacts of key climate factors stronger or weaker, thus starting a cyclical chain reaction that repeats over and over again. A negative feedback loop is the process that causes a decrease in function. It's basically the planet trying to stabilize its system. Therefore, a vicious cycle ensues where we emit more and more greenhouse gases and the Earth creates more and more negative feedback loops. This is how our actions today will determine the entire Earth's climate for centuries to come. And that's very bad news. Number 4. Nazca Lines Intended for Humans or Aliens the Nazca Lines are ancient geoglyphs found in the Pampas de Humana in the Nazca Desert between the towns of Nazca and Palpa in the Department of Ica in Peru. They were drawn by the Nazca people and are made up of several hundred figures that range from designs as simple as lines to complex zoomorphic plant form and geometric figures that appear traced on the Earth's surface. A semicircle of hills in the distance makes up a gigantic natural amphitheater open to the west. The Nazca Lines extend over 520 square kilometers kilometers, and some even extend to an area of 800 square kilometers. The most representative are the drawings of animals. Giant hummingbirds, condors, herons, cranes, pelicans, seagulls, parrots, and others. There's also a monkey, a spider, a snail, a 27-meter whale, a dog with a long tail, an anthropomorphic figure, and two llamas. In the category of reptiles, there is a lizard, which was cut off when the South Pan American Highway was built, an iguana, a lizard, and a snake. Many of the drawings are are mixed with lines and spirals. You can only fully appreciate the grandiosity of the drawings when viewed from the air, which is why some people believe the lines were an invitation to alien species to come visit us. A tourist guide, in a way. Number 3. Black Hole and Quasar 
A black hole is a place that occurs often in space where gravity pulls so much that not even light can get back out of it. The gravity is so mind-blowingly strong in a black hole because matter has been squeezed into a tiny little space. They are created when a star is dying. Because no light can get out of black holes, we couldn't see them or know about their existence for a long time. They are completely invisible. The only thing that lets us know that a black hole is there is how the stars around it behave differently than normal. Quasar is an astronomical object of incredibly high luminosity found in the centers of some galaxies. Quasars are powered by gas spiraling at very high velocity into an extremely large black hole. They live in a quasi-symbiotic relationship of light and darkness. As much as black holes are the darkest objects in space, the brightest quasars can outshine all the stars in the galaxies in which they reside, making them visible even at distances of billions of light years. Sometimes they appear almost star-like, embedded in fuzzy halos, and they are often blue in color. Number 2. Einstein's Famous Equation E equals MC squared so simple, yet so brilliant. It's Einstein's famous equation that is certainly one of the most beautiful scientific discoveries in human history, but it's also equally disturbing. And here's why. First of all, the equation revolutionized the world of physics by connecting the mass of an object with its energy for the first time ever. The result is a wonderfully elegant equivalence between mass and energy, but what does it mean? Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. The physics underpinning the equation are accordingly heavy and complex, but for the rest of us, the formula boils down largely to one thing. There's a huge amount of energy bound inside the matter surrounding us. This new take on the laws of physics created a chain reaction that completely changed how we see the universe and the reality around us. It made the picture a lot more accurate and complete, which is a great advancement. But on the other hand, this seemingly harmless formula also taught us that when you multiply things by the speed of light times itself, you don't need much mass. A smidgen of plutonium is plenty to create enough energy to completely destroy a city. And after Hiroshima and Nagasaki, we have sadly learned that human beings should not have such power. Number 1. The Universe is Made of Stuff We Can Barely Begin to Imagine what do you think of when you think about the universe? If you're like me, you'll probably think of stars, planets, galaxies, black holes, quasars, and a, a whole lot of dust, right? Well, all of those things combined only make about 4% of whatever's out there. The rest comes in two flavors of dark or unknown stuff. We have dark matter, which makes up about 23% of the universe, and then there's dark energy at a whopping 73%. But what exactly is that famous dark matter we all hear so much about? Well, scientists don't really Really know yet, but they do have some exciting ideas about the subject. Some think it might be a bunch of exotic and still hypothetical particles floating around in space. But dark energy? Now that's the one we don't know absolutely anything about, which considering it's the most abundant thing in the entire universe, that's quite ironic, don't you think? The only thing we do know for sure is that thanks to these dark parts, the universe we call home is expanding. And not only expanding, but doing so faster and faster. That means that everything in the universe universe will drift away further and further apart until the cosmos is uniformly cold and desolate. And yes, the world will also end. I don't know about you, but I find it very difficult to keep up with all the amazing discoveries that science has constantly given us. Out of all the amazing facts and findings on this list, which one do you find the most fascinating? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.